Are you looking for ways to give your business a boost and get it found more on Google? Well, great, you're in the right spot. In this video, I'm gonna share five simple tips that you can use to help your business show up more often for near me searches. That's searches where people think, hey, I'm looking for a local business near me, right? You wanna pop up for those because those are people who are ready to buy customers. So in this video, I'm gonna show you five simple tips to do that. You're gonna be able to implement these even if you have no technical skills, even if you have no budget for SEO, anything like that. These are just simple tips, one business owner to another to help you get your business to show up higher for local search results. So let's keep going. But first, why are near me searches so important in the first place? Well, as recently as the last couple of years, they've increased by 900%. That's right. People searching, where can I buy this? Where can I hire this service? Near me and the end of their search has increased by like a thousand percent in the last couple of years, right? So that's why it's so critically important because we all pull that smartphone out of our pocket and we type in, where can I do this, buy this, hire this service near me, right? Because we're looking for a local service. That's the main thing people are searching. So your business needs to come up because that is where the customer is going and exactly what they're saying when they want to hire you for what you do, right? So those searches are absolutely critical for your business to show up for in the first place. So that's why we need to talk about what it is that you can do, simple things that are important and critical to your success to make sure that Google knows you are the right business to pull up in the situations where somebody is looking to hire or buy what you do near them, right? So here are the five tips. Okay, first up, you need to keep your name, address, phone number, and website consistent across the web. The best way to do this is to use a citation builder service. If you're using Mighty Sites, that's included with the Boost program, or you can go to Bright Local and pay them to do it for you, or you can just manually go in yourself and update listings. What I'm talking about is business listings like Yelp, Google Business Profile, Monta, Nextdoor, all of these places where your business is listed, Angie, you know, depending on the type of business, all these places where your business is listed in a local business directory, they're going to include your business name, your address, your phone number, and your website. If you have those consistent across all those directories, Google feels really confident that you are who you say you are, right? So that's step one, because if those are accurate, now Google's like, oh, I trust that this is the right business, right? However, if those are all inaccurate and you've got different, you know, slightly different business names, slightly different address, phone number, different website link or no website link, Google's like, uh, all the factors that I'm looking at here, I don't really trust that this business is who I think it is. So I'm not really sure that I should bring them up. I'm going to go with somebody who has built more trust factors by showing me that their name, address, phone number, and website are consistent across the web. That's called citations. So I'll put the links in the description below. Use one of those tools to clean up your citations or do it yourself. It's critically important that that's all accurate. Google is gonna give you a boost in SEO when it sees that this information is accurate across the web. Okay, now you're in luck because I'm actually gonna give you a bonus tip. So this is tip 1A. So your name, address, and phone number should also be listed on your website in a visible place. Now, my favorite spot to put this is in the footer. So if you can just picture the footer of your website, have your business name, your address, your phone number, and you're obviously you have your website already. You're on your website, so you don't need to put your website address again there. But if you have that consistently there with the exact name, address, and phone number you want to use, then that should match up to what is listed on all the citations. If you put in your footer, your footer's on every page of your website. So now you've got your name, address, phone number accurate across every page of your website. And it's great for users because they scroll down through your website and they're like, oh, this is the company I want to hire. And they just click on the address to drive to your business or the phone number, depending on what type of business you are, right? So, and then that's going to match up with the rest of what's on the web. So put it on your, in your footer, your name, address, phone number, even better if you want to hyperlink those to call you, or if you want to link your name to your Google maps location, kind of just even closing the loop there. So Google knows and customers know you are exactly who you say you are. All right, next up, let's talk about your website content. One of the big mistakes that most small businesses make, and you may be making this today. So I encourage you to pull up your website and look at it along with watching this video is they say what they do, but they don't say where they do it. So you may be a pressure washing business and you say we offer pressure washing and that's all over your website great but you want to be specific and say we offer pressure washing in denver colorado specifically we offer denver colorado the highlands neighborhood or the lodo neighborhood in denver this is where we offer pressure washing and we work with if customers let you businesses in these areas and link to those businesses right so that you're giving a lot of relevant context that's localized on your website so the big mistake
mistake is that the content is too just general and says we are a farm store we are a pet supply store we sell pet food well it should say we sell pet food and are proud to, to have our pet food supplied through the greater littleton neighborhood in colorado right whatever it is i live in colorado so that's why i'm coming up with all these things but you need to textualize your website with things that actually are relevant to the local searches that are going to happen so those near me searches are based on people saying i need a dentist in chicago or dentist near me right the more information you can provide google on your services pages on your product pages on your website in general and your about us that contextualize who you are what you do but also exactly where you do it now your website is more localized your google business profile is more localized and now when that searcher is saying i want to buy or hire this near me google has two different things it's looking at saying well this is probably the right business because this business is near them and this business is talking all about how they offer their service or sell their products in that exact place okay number three you couldn't escape without me talking about something technical sorry but we do talk about seo here however let's talk about this in an easy way there is a part of your website called your title tag right it's if you google or search on whatever platform you're on so let's say you're on shopify or let's say you're on wordpress for your website just figure out what type of website you're on and then search how to edit title tags for a wordpress website or how to edit title tags on a shopify website when you do that you're going to get a result that's really easy for you to follow that tells you how to edit those title tags the title tags are critically important for both customers and search bots so if you're not familiar with title tags what that is google reads the title of each page it's just like titles of a book right so google's going to read the title tag to understand what that page of your website is about so if you say pressure washing denver colorado google's like oh this is a page all about how this business offers pressure washing in denver colorado maybe if someone searches pressure washing near me and they're in denver colorado i should bring up this business in this page right that's why those title tags are so important now on top of that when your business website shows up in the search results that's the actual thing that people read so go ahead and look at a google search results page for anything what the actual title is as you scroll down those listings those are the title tags they just show up in those results. Those are the titles that people see and decide which to click. So again, if you have a really relevant title like pressure washing Denver, Colorado, and somebody searches pressure washing near me, and then they see your website listing and the title is Denver, Colorado pressure washing, that's the one they're likely to click on, right? Makes sense. And when Google sees them clicking on you, now all of a sudden they're like, oh, that's the website we should bring up all the time, right? So it connects the dots for your customers and for Google. All right, up next is the power of internal links. So it's like kind of like creating a web of clues that all point you to the right spot spot to go. Why this matters is it gives you the chance to tell Google exactly where to go through your website. So internal links help Google understand which parts of your website are important, which pages are important and how everything's connected, right? So a big mistake is to not have links from one blog article to the next or from a service page to the next. So let's say you write a blog that says all about pressure washing, right? You should also have an internal link that then says, if you're looking for pressure washing in Denver, Colorado, check out our service that we offer and link that to your service page on your website website that's about your pressure washing services in Denver, Colorado, because now you have a page that's a nice blog that talks all about the service, right? Or talks about pressure washing in some way. And then you link that back to the service that you offer page, right? So Google sees those and those are kind of important SEO pieces. I'm not going to get into the technical detail, but having the right internal links that tells Google where to go and associates like a blog article with another page are important for telling both the customer who might be reading that blog and think, oh, they offer this service. Great. Right now they click on it. But also tells Google, hey, let's associate this content and this information with the fact that this business also offers this service. And lastly, I'm so sorry to do this to you. I have to say one more technical thing. Control F this and forward it right to your developer. It's about local business schema. So local business schema. Schema markup is another word for it. It's just behind the scenes info that goes on your website that tells search engines about your business. Now, most small businesses fail to put this on their website. And it's a real travesty for, because search engines engines really like to know what is said in this local business schema. This information is technical information that just tells them, hey, we're a local business. This is the type of local business that we are. And you can expect that we offer services like this. Have your developer put the right local business schema on your website. They'll know what to do. If your developer is told that, they'll know what to do. Have them do that so that Google understands what type of local business you are. It's going to help you in the search results. And it's going to give you a boost over all those other local businesses that fail to do this for themselves. Okay. Now, before you go, those are the 
five tips, but how are you going to know if it's working? You have to keep an eye on what's happening with your Google business profile. I'm going to share in the next few videos and check out the channel for more details, ways that you can actually track your progress with local SEO. And you can watch as those near me searches start working in your favor and your business climbs up to the tops of those search results. Now you're going to have to have the right search engine tools and optimization analytics to understand that these are working for you. So start off doing this, check out the playlist on SEO tools for local businesses so that you know exactly how to track this. The better you do with near me searches, the more you're going to see customer leads rolling in for your business. So that's it. Five simple strategies to boost your local visibility. Implement these. You're going to watch it soar. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Love if you subscribed. It helps support this channel and share it with other local business owners. Thanks so much for joining me today. We'll catch you in the next video.